to my channel. Welcome back if it's not your first time seeing me. My name is Nyasha and I am here with another word from the Lord. Um, before we jump into it, I'm going to pray and I will have you know. <laughs> I'm a bit tired right now, so if I don't have my usual energy, then pardon me. <sighs> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today and God, we just want to thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your Holy Spirit who is within us. And Heavenly Father, we ask that you would just prepare the hearts of those that are going to receive this message. And I also just want to pray, Heavenly Father, especially for the gift of discernment. And above that, the gift of the discerning of spirits, especially in this day and time that we're living in. There is a lot of stuff, a lot of information coming out, a lot of differing opinions, opinions that are literally just meant to tear apart the body of Christ. But I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would give us discernment so that we would know what words are coming from you and what words are inspired of the devil. In the mighty and precious name of Yeshua, our Messiah, I pray and I thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, so I have two main words to deliver. One is a prophetic word with regards to marriage. I'm going to give that one last. And the first one is with regards to war in Europe. Okay. So <laughs> I'm not going to release the other words that are directly in connection with this war in Europe one just because I haven't received a go ahead from the Lord but the one that he gave me yesterday I felt that he wanted me to release that urgently so in this dream that I had yesterday I was at an airport somewhere in Spain I believe I had just landed at one of the Spanish airports and I heard someone announce over the PA system that oh welcome back to spain if you haven't been with us for the last one week um we already have millions more people who've come to join us um and so as the person was seeing that over the pa system i had a vision of several very pale skinned europeans um most of them with blonde hair and blue eyes and then that was the end of that particular vision and so i heard this person it was a man i heard the man now say that oh um there are more people they keep welcoming more refugees um and so there were millions that they had already received and I could see on the streets in the vision that I had on the streets of the particular town that I was going to, there were lots more people than there had been when I left that place. And it was different from how it is during the summer because during the summer it's pretty crowded, but this was worse, okay? And it's one of the smaller towns, so obviously for it to be overflowing with refugees like that, that means that the cities had lots more, okay? So, um, I also had another vision after that where I was walking through the streets of the same town and I could see some people who looked African, but they didn't look like they were from the north of Africa because the people that are from the north of Africa um, if they're not the Arab descendants it's those that are really tall um, lanky dark-skinned but like they have a whole lot of melanin in their skin okay so um, I know what they look like they're different from the people that I could see in my vision so what the Lord was telling me was that there would also be civil wars in Africa that would cause people to flee to other countries in Europe particularly Spain and this vision that I was seeing right if I'm being honest the people that I saw in that vision looked like your ordinary Zambian or Zimbabwean person, you know? Um, so, okay, you don't know because you weren't seeing this vision, but that's basically it. And so 
um, after that I had that vision, um, the Lord was saying to me that Russia would invade the other neighboring countries. Like they wouldn't be concerned with just invading all of Ukraine and taking back what they believe is Russian territory. They wanted more territory. And so they were encroaching um, into other countries. They were literally just infringing the other countries' rights to sovereignty as they were um, launching a bigger scale invasion of other territories, moving from um, the east, spreading towards the western direction of Europe. That's why there were all these European refugees, Eastern European refugees in Spain. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I think the best thing to do with regards to this message is to pray um, because there's only so much running we can do. <laughs> Even if economic situations get worse in the countries that we're in right now, or if there is war or civil unrest or whatever it is that's going on, there's only so much running we can do. And there are only so many people that other countries can receive. We can't all abandon our countries and be received by the other countries because then there's obviously a risk of overpopulation. Um, I know that Yeshua prophesied in Matthew 24, I believe when he was giving the signs of the end, that there would be wars and rumors of wars. What we need to bear in mind is that that's a set word. It's already set in stone. God himself said it, okay? There's no avoiding that. But maybe what we can pray for, what we can pray for is for his grace to just abound, his grace and his mercy to just abound so that we will be able to endure until the end. We can't pray away the wars we need to pray for the strength to endure whatever it is that he has already said is going to happen in this world before he finally returns okay and then the marriage word um i was having this dream where i had the knowledge that i had just broken up with a guy whose name was cohen right and i had this male best friend and he had a girlfriend and then now I wanted to date some other guy. I think that maybe he had been trying to woo me whilst I was with the Cohen guy. But I hadn't really given him a chance. And so now that I had broken up with the Cohen guy, I was like, okay, well, let me give him a chance. And so um, I was sitting at this table and we were having dinner, like everybody was having dinner or they were just finishing off their food and then they took away their plates and then some people already taking up their plates and leaving and whatever. Um, and I was aware that my best friend was sitting right next to me. We were talking, we were having a good time, laughing and all of that. Um, and his girlfriend was sitting on the other side, like to his left, right? And... I think the scene changed and now I was sitting next to the guy that was trying to woo me now, the recent guy who was trying to be my boyfriend now. And my best friend was sitting on a couch somewhere in the living room with his girlfriend. We were all in the same room and he got up to go and use the bathroom and so I was still eating my food. And the guy who had now just become my recent boyfriend, <laughs> my current boyfriend, um, he said, oh, you should see the way that your best friend's girlfriend is looking at you. She's literally shooting daggers at you with her eyes. And he said that she's looking at me like I'm some kind of fence that's supposed to restrict you <laughs> or refrain you from you know, um, I guess snatching her boyfriend or causing a breakup or from cheating. Wait, he said, <laughs> he said that she was looking at him like he was some kind of friend fence that was supposed to refrain me from cheating with him on her. Okay, there we go. Yes. So basically, um, 
he was laughing and he was like <laughs> can you imagine that um it's not like i would ever forgive you if you did something like that me that he said <laughs> and he was sounding nice to me <laughs> he said me that um what was the thing that he said he said it in a very funny way let me paraphrase he said that i already have difficulties hearing you when you're begging me to do something or not to do something why would i forgive you if you did something like that that's the gist of what he was saying and so the dream ended right then and what holy spirit was saying to me before i was fully awake was that this was a message for someone i'm sorry i should have released it yesterday but hopefully it's not too late um if you're getting it today which you should get it today um he was saying that you should marry your best friend i knew in the dream that even this guy that i had just started to date was not it for me um i knew that i could never have as much fun with him as i had with my best friend and i also knew that my best friend was very loving and very forgiving and he wasn't like a jealous or territorial person and all of that he was just a healthy guy um i'm talking about his emotional and mental health he was very healthy he wasn't a toxic person like this guy that i had just started to date and so what the lord was saying was yes marry your best friend marry somebody who is forgiving marry someone who's going to be like christ to you it doesn't necessarily have to your best to be your best friend in the sense that oh you have a guy best friend and so you marry that person no it has to be someone who because holy spirit is my best friend i don't have a guy best friend i don't even have any close guy friends right now because i just stopped having close male friends at some point in my life and i was like this is not working out um it never worked out because they ended up liking me um yeah <laughs> so holy spirit is my best friend and so if he's saying marry your best friend what he's essentially saying is that you should marry someone who possesses the characteristics that a christian should according to what the bible says somebody who produces the fruit of the spirit okay so yeah that's it don't marry somebody just because he's wealthy or he seems to have big dreams and you're also a big dreamer and whatnot yeah maybe those are some things to consider but at the core of it marry someone that you're equally yoked with marry somebody who you know is going to be able to support the vision that the lord has given you about your life and he was saying this that you should marry a person who's like that, a person who possesses the fruit of the spirit, the qualities, the characteristics that a godly man should possess because it will be difficult for you to go through the tribulation with somebody who is not like that. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it just there. Um, I don't have anything to add to that. So be blessed and encouraged in Yeshua's name.